So in drywall construction, three coats on drywall screws is considered the standard. I do two coats, but to get away with two coats, there's a certain technique to do that. And I'm going to show you how I do that. The first thing is use mud straight out of the box. Don't water it down at all. Just use it like that. So here's the tricky part. You need to have just the perfect amount of mud on it. And mud when it's applied and before it dries, it's a little bit translucent. So it's hard to see exactly how much I'm leaving behind, but I'll show you some screws in a minute here that have already dried and then you'll see better what the depth is. So do it like that. Um, I've seen some amateurs, real amateurs, and they try to get their screws done in like two coats or maybe even one coat. And I don't know, they lay it on. This is a huge exaggeration, but they lay it on like that, which is terrible because that'll just take so much sanding. Okay, so that's a big exaggeration, but I've seen people do their screws like that. So how you want to do it is put it on like that. If you have a little mist spot, hit the back of it with your knife. Just go over it again. So that's the proper depth. That's what it should look like. Then once it's dried, it should look like this. And then I take some mud that's a little bit mixed down with some water and then I stripe it. And even now I'm not trying to take off every little bit of mud, but it's still a thin coat. And one of the reasons why I like to stripe it on the finish coat is that when I use my square sander and I come up and down, when I come up and down between the screw heads, I don't rough up the drywall surface because I have a strip of mud. So that helps with that. And also striping just makes the finish coating go a little faster. So once it's dry, it'll look like this. And then you sand it like that. And you won't see any dimples. Can't feel them, can't see them. You prime the wall, paint the wall, you won't see any dimples. So that's how I do it. That's how I do my screws in two coats. Saves a lot of time and doesn't change anything about the finished quality.